Joe Paterno and his young bunch of kids headed for the horseshoe in Columbus and a tough road test against ninth ranked Ohio State. National TV coverage and a crowd of more than 105,000 watched as Penn State look like the top 10 team in the first half. The Nittany Lions won the toss and deferred, and Terrell Pryor immediately got Ohio State into the red zone with a 49-yard connection to Devere Posey on the third play of the game. And Ohio State scores, but it's only three. 11.36 to go first quarter in space, 30, 30. 5-36 yard line where Astorino makes the play and Penn State really played that well. He only gained two in second and eight. And the linebackers plug the hole. Linebacker you. Penn State defensively here in the first two drives done a good job of A number one to front four getting some pressure and really limiting the running game. Penn State's coaching staff had the Lions well prepared on both sides of the ball. Former walk-on quarterback Matt McGloin was making his first road start and appeared as calm as if he were playing in a spring scrimmage. The Lions offensive line opened holes for the running game and protected McGloin for a controlled passing game. And the combination made it hard for the Buckeyes defense to get off the field. Fourth down a half yard. Royster left side, he's got the first down inside the 45. In trouble and fires beautifully under pressure. McGloin. Back to pass, Matt sets, he fires, Brown makes the catch. Good job by Brown, two good catches he's made on this drive. He's a big target for McGloin. Back in trouble, got a man, touchdown! As he was about to go down, he hits Justin Brown. Good job there by Matt McGloin again. He's in a comfort zone, whether he's in Happy Valley right now or in this stadium. McGloin took one for the team just as he released the ball, and Justin Brown had his first touchdown catch. Ohio State entered the game third in the nation in defense, allowing only 234 yards a game. McGloin and the Penn State offense almost reached that in the first half, as they looked real comfortable regardless of down or distance. Lone setback, turn, they give the ball. Red, 30, spins away, 35, 40, Silas Red, 45, Silas Red, picking up 18 yards of the Penn State first down. Got such great balance, he's stronger than people think, and people have not seen a whole lot of Silas Red. Penn State could not have drawn up a better start for Matt McGloin, not just with his numbers and the rhythm for, for he and Joe Paterno, but it's just the stadium has an unsettled feel to it. Penn State in Ohio State territory with the lead, exactly the way Joe Pot and his staff drew this up. Derek Moy would be a frequent target for McGloin as he continued to climb up Penn State's all-time receiving list while the crowd at Ohio State was climbing the walls with frustration, as were the Buckeyes who did not have an answer for Penn State's offense, at least not a legal one. And early in the second quarter, the Nittany Lions found scarlet pay dirt again. McGloin waits, they're showing blitz. Back he goes, sets, fires in the end zone, caught, touchdown, Penn State. Fires end zone, got him. Touchdown to Derek Moy. So how about this youngster from West Scranton? Talk about Moxie from Penn State and McGloin. This is where you find out about your leadership of your team. Who's going to be able to pull you out of this funk that the entire team right now is under? Who's going to be able to do that? Who's going to be able to make a play? Or is Penn State going to just keep attacking Ohio State? Penn State would keep attacking. In fact, the Buckeyes did not convert one single time on third down in the first half, running only 16 plays after their first field goal drive. In trouble, Stufar chasing, and down he goes! Jack Crawford takes it down, back at the 47-yard line. Stupar's the one that created it. I think Tom Bradley is one of the top defensive minds in college football. He has He's probably gone through about as many different changes this year as any other year because of so many injuries. 19 different starters. For Penn State, it was a half of great execution following great preparation, and it had Buckeye fans booing their own team. More than halfway through the third quarter, the Big Ten's highest scoring offense finally found the end zone. Same to the right, Heron to the left. Flyer gives the ball to Sane 25, 20, 15, first down to the 10, hit by Stupar to the five, first and goal at the five. 
Fire, Heron up the middle through the hole, touchdown, Ohio State. You're going to have to be aggressive here again with maybe a play action. Maybe you could try to get the ball downfield. And now Royster goes out with an injury, so it's getting thin now. The freshman, Silas Red. Silas Red, 17 yards and a first down for Penn State. The vision he has as a true freshman coming in here to college football and being a big part of this offensive running game for Penn State. Outstanding run by Red. McGloin, play action, fake back to pass. He delivers, knocked away, and intercepted by Torrance. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Ohio State takes the lead. It was the first interception thrown by McGloin in 91 pass attempts, and it still took a favorable Buckeye bounce, and it would not be the last one to benefit Ohio State. But the Nittany Lion defense was determined to not let it be the deciding factor. They kept clawing into the fourth quarter, keeping the deficit to a field goal. The game was still up for grabs, and Tom Bradley's defense made sure of it. Second 12 situation. Again, you got to play down in distance here. Here is Pryor looking downfield toward the end zone. Intercepted. Picked off at the two yard line. Malcolm Willis, the safety, sitting on the play, read the quarterback, and put out that fire. Malcolm Willis picked the perfect time for his first career interception. But backed up deep in their own territory. The Nittany Lions were unable to move the football. A three and out caused a big shift in field position. And this game was starting to slowly slip out of their grasp. 10-10 left fourth quarter, 17-14 Ohio State. Second to 23, their own 42. He will throw back the pass. A lot of time. Blows it up long and deep center of the field for Posey. Reaches up, makes the catch. Touchdown, Sanzenbacher. The ball got tipped in the air, and Sanzenbacher caught it for a touchdown. Two tip balls, two Ohio State touchdowns. When you play for Penn State, you play on the big stage, and the growing pains of this young team were on display in front of millions. Three-man front, they show blitz. They rush three, back goes McGloin, lot of time, throws, intercepted Howard 30, 25, 20. Howard to the 15, 10, 5, touchdown Ohio State. The final score was not an indication of how tight this game was for more than three quarters. These